or high defense. Uh, 60% is the single most defensive down that we've ever seen, minus Athena, which requires some tiles to get the extra defensive down. And then the same thing with the attack at minus 60%. That is... Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. We're doing a brand new hero breakdown on the abominable clown man. Kind of looks like a clown snowman deal. I don't know what's going on. Bobo. Bobo looks fun. I like Bobo. He's got 751 on his attack, 801 on his defense, and 1380 on his health. Statistically, he's got an okay attack power. His defense is really solid. And 1380 on his health, it's pretty good. He's running at slow speed. He's part of the Starfall family which means you get a bonus between two, three heroes. You have anywhere between 40% and a 60% chance to cleanse the hero's most recent dispellable status ailment at the end of each turn. So if he's got anything negative on him, you do have a chance to cleanse it if you've got multiple heroes on your team. As far as the hero special goes, he deals 320% damage to all enemies. The enemy with the highest base defense gets the following status ailment. The target gets a minus 60% defense for four turns. This effect can't be cleansed. The enemy with the highest base attack gets the following status ailment. The target gets a minus 60% attack for four turns. This effect can't be dispelled. Dealing damage to all, and then he's making anything with high defense or high attack power suffer substantially. I do love this hero special because A, it's dealing damage to all, and then is just slaughtering anything with high attack or, or high defense. 60% uh, is the single most defensive down that we've ever seen, minus Athena, which requires some tiles to get the extra defensive down. And then the same thing with the attack at minus 60%. That is significantly a very large number when you take a look at uh, what the character does. This video is sponsored by Gemstone Legends, the brand new RPG strategy match three game of the year. Empires and Puzzle players have been loving this because you can do diagonal moves so you don't get messed over by the board. You can take your three star characters and bring them up to six stars and you get equipment you can throw on every single person to make them even stronger. Now's the time to download Gemstone Legends. All you gotta do, click on the link in the description. Make sure you type in my promo code, hashtag anchor underscore 2021 hashtag to get a free epic starter bonus you get an epic hero you get 500 gold five gold scrolls and 300 gems thanks again gemstone legends and he is a barbarian class hero if you're throwing some emblems on him i'm definitely going to recommend uh going the uh probably the attack defense and health strategy you want to be dealing damage to all enemies if you're using them on offense now if you're just focused on him being a defensive uh, sorry, a uh, Titan hero, which there is a potential for that. You can probably just focus on his defense and his health total because you really want to keep him alive and you're just mostly focused on giving him the negative status ailments. When we take a look at what he does against a Titan, he's going to get an A+. I absolutely love this character against a Titan because you're getting a huge significant amount of defense decrease for four turns and also attack for four turns. And you're not really too concerned so much about his uh, speed because you can use mana to prevent that. So I do love this character a lot on Titans because it's just, it's gonna significantly mess it up. So amazing, amazing, amazing on Titans. Probably one of the most important Titan heroes that you can have against the Fire Titans. We take a look at him offensively. He's going to get the A grade. Again, he is running at slow speed, so that definitely goes against him, but it's still 320% damage to all enemies. And then anything that's got high defensive or attack stats is just going to get destroyed. What I love about him too is that the effect can't be cleansed. So they're just going to be sitting there chilling with defensive down and attack uh, decrease down for four turns. Don't care about what it is that you're doing. Even if he goes off multiple times to just deal 320% damage to all enemies, that's definitely a factor. But the fact that you're just decreasing them substantially with defense and attack is going to be really sweet. So I do love him on offense. He does get dinged a little bit, obviously, because he's running at slow speed. So that is a factor in things. But once he goes off, solid character. 
We take a look at him uh, as far as him defensively. He's going to get an A- minus as far as the tank rate goes. Obviously, the slow factor is going to be a factor in things. You don't want him to really be going off multiple times. Um, and he is dealing damage to all enemies. But there are some other average heroes that are dealing a significant amount of damage as well, too. So there is that factor. Currently sitting at an A-, minus, mostly gets dinged the most for him having the slow speed. And situationally, actually in the flank of the wing position, he is also going to get another A minus grade, pretty much because he can be be pretty solid. He's pretty solid uh, in any situation on defense. Not to mention, he's got great defensive uh, stats, so that really helps out a lot. And then um, what I like about him too is that the effect goes into play for the enemy that is still alive. So even if he goes off and they have a couple of heroes that are dead or whatever, whatever's alive is just going to get the defense and attack decrease and i think that it's going to be bad news especially because it can't be dispelled or cleansed or anything like that so that is pretty awesome so currently sitting in a minus i could see this grade going up potentially you don't want this guy going off multiple times but it goes against him with him running at slow speed when we take a look at him on his weekly raid grade, he is going to get an A plus on rush attack. Obviously now very fast, messing up everything. If they've got heroes that are dead, it doesn't matter. They're going to be getting the negative decrease in defense and attack and just dealing damage to all. Yeah, and an absolute all star on rush attack A plus. Look at his buff grade. He's going to get another A grade there. Obviously, the biggest dinging factor is the fact that he's running at slow speed, but you are dealing um, the de decrease in defense and attack to one specific target. It would be a little bit better if that factor came into play for everybody, but still it can't be cleansed. On Bloody Battle, he's gonna get an A grade, again, getting dinged because he's running at slow speed. So dealing damage to all enemies, um, but then just messing up their defense and their attack. So he is going to get an overall grade of an A. I absolutely love this character. I think that it's pretty awesome. If you do get him, I highly recommend leveling him up. Even if you're just going to be using him against Titans, it's going to uh, make your Titan score significantly better. So he's going to get the A plus on Titans. So thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video.